In this lecture, we'll be creating a database and a table for storing user information and also we'll be creating the project files for the login system that we are developing. I will be using phpMyAdmin to create my database and the tables for the system. Once you open phpMyAdmin, you'll see the databases link at the top. You click on this and then we have the uh, screen to create a new database. So here I'll be creating our database. I'll name this as register and then click on the create button. Our database is created. Next, we need to create the table that will store the information of users. We'll call this users table and also specify the number of columns that we'll need for this table. Five will be okay for this basic system. Click on go. We need to specify the individual columns that we'll be needing in the users table. The very first column that we'll need will be the ID column. It will be of type integer and the length will be six. We also need to specify the attributes as unsigned to ensure that only positive integers and zero can be inserted in this feed. We also need to specify the ID as the primary key to uniquely identify each user in the system. Lastly, for the ID column, we need to choose the option of auto increment. This will allow MySQL to automatically increase the value of this feed by one each time a new record is created. The next column will be the username column. So this will be of variable characters. We'll make the length as 30 and we'll make this unique to ensure that two users can have the same username in the system. So after that, we'll create a password feed. And this will also be variable character. We'll make the length 255 because we'll be using PHP password hashing function. Next is the email feed. This will be used to store the user's email address. So it will also be variable character. We'll make this of length 100 and we'll make this also unique to ensure that two users cannot register with the same email address. Our last column will be the join date column. This will basically just capture the time that the user was registered timestamp for this and click on save. We have created a registered database and within the registered database, we have created the user table. We can go ahead to look at the structure of this table. Uh, we'll see that we have the ID, the type is integer and the length is six. It's unsigned, auto increment, and it's also the primary key column. We also see that we have the username column variable character length is 30 and this is also unique we have the password column variable character length is 255 and also we have the email column variable character length is 100 this is also unique remember and lastly we have the join date which is a timestamp this will basically store the date and the time when the user was registered this is all we need to do for our database let me now show you the directory structure for the system. Basically, I have a folder here. This is named Alt. So within the Alt folder, I have another subfolder named Resource. Inside the Resource folder, I have two files. The first one is database.php. This will be used to create our database connection script. And next, we have another file, section.php. This will be the file that we use to start our session that will be included in all the pages. Next, we have the index page. This is the home page for the system that we are developing. Then we have the login.php, which will be used for our login form. We have logout.php and also signup.php. If you want to follow along with me step by step, you can download the blank project files from the download section of this lecture. In the next lecture, we'll be creating our database connection script.